Welcome back. Queensland teachers are sounding the alarm after being asked to hide students' gender pronoun requests from their parents. There are now growing concerns that more and more school staff could be caught in the middle of a very tricky situation. Let's bring in former Queensland principal Tracy Tully in Brisbane. Trace, thanks again for your time this morning. Now, should teachers be telling parents about everything that happens at school? Yes, they should, for a few reasons, uh, Sarah. Number one is when a parent enrols a student at, their sc at a school, uh, they sign a contract, and so does the student. That contract at no time says that a, parent, that a school can withhold information from that parent, uh, unless, of course, there's a court order. So therefore, what we're, what we're seeing happening is that schools, are, uh, teachers are being told to withhold information uh, to parents about the students, but there's no policies and there are no procedures by the department that dictates that teachers must lie to parents. Mm. Okay, so, so uh, what is happening then? Yeah. And then what's the problem? The, the problem is that uh, they're using the uh, principals are using the Human Rights Act and the Trans Guide, which is a guide to how they work with uh, students to protect them. Now, we all know that students are vulnerable and we all understand that this, this topic is, um, is, is out there. But at the end of the day, this has to be treated uh, really well and school personnel are not trained, they're not trained medical experts to be doing that sort of um, information. Now, schools also don't have enough guidance officers in there to help. Mm. So teachers, once again, are being used and abused and forced to do things that are not right for them and it isn't fair. They're there to educate, they're not trained in this mm. and whilst there's a uh, a uh, Human Rights Act that dictates there's a trans guide in schools. That trans guide clearly says that parents, students must work with the school community together. Mm. I mean, Tracy, obviously we always want to sort of encourage safe spaces for these students, especially if they're working through something like that. But at the end of the day, teachers aren't parents. They're not their parents. Mm. So how do they balance that support for their students and then the students' parents? Well, they're struggling with it. I'm hearing from, uh, I have been hearing from teachers since uh, last year about these subjects and they're very stressed and they're very anxious about it. And this contributes to why teachers are leaving schools because they're not protected. So therefore the position they're in, if they're forced to lie to a parent and a parent finds out, and the minute they step outside the school ground, if they're hurt physically mm. by that parent because they've lied to a student, they're a huge risk and we don't know what will happen and nor are there any, any uh, regulations in place to protect those teachers with mm. that. So teachers are being forced and they shouldn't be. It should be people in the school who are quite happy to take that, um, take their own safety and welfare at risk and teachers aren't and shouldn't be forced. Look, even logistically mm. it's tricky um, and delicate, um, even when you're talking about toilets. Um, mm. You know, it's th those kind of basic things. What where do kids go, what they do, the language around it all, maybe there needs to be um, at, the, at the educational perspective and point of view more training done at universities or, or colleges in order to get um, teachers up to scratch because they're just going to have to deal with it more. Mm. Exactly. And also they need trained and qualified people in the schools, with that, which they don't have. The number of GOs is, is diminishing mm. and it's just not good enough, especially with what we're seeing happening now. You raised some good points, Tracy. I appreciate you being on the show again. Thank you. Let Thank us know you. what your feedback is on our social media platforms.